Hey beautifuls, Hannah from Reality Awareness here. Welcome. I feel like I haven't been on public live stream for ages and that's probably about the truth of it. And enough is enough. Enough of that already, right? And I really want to talk to you today about this enough is enough. Like I feel like there's been so many people that have just gone, uh, that's enough now, right? And I really want to talk to that. So say hi when you join live, guys. Yes, people here already. I know I haven't been on live stream for ages. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> well, I'm sorry and not sorry. I've been with lots and lots of clients. I've been working with so many of you beautiful souls. So say hi when you're here. Let me share this and let me be 100% present with you. And I'm super curious how you guys have been handling these energies. It feels like it's been... Well, I actually slept for 15 hours the other day, so that kind of explains a little bit of it. However, however, I didn't have coffee, so maybe that's why, right? I know a long time no see, right? And so enough of that. Oh my goodness. Enough. Enough is enough. But there's more I want to talk about. Enough and enough is enough. It's not just me not doing live streams. <laughs> there's so much more. <laughs> so say hi guys. I'm going to share this and I'll be super present with you. Because that's a lot I want to say. Hey, Janaea. All right. Now, my cat's going to decide to play with my dream catches. Is that is that right, Mew? Mew, no. You know you're not allowed to do that. Oh, my goodness. Right. <laughs> that's why I usually shut the door. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one more, let me share this. Hello, hello. Yes, I am very well. I've been somewhat detoxing, I guess, because of the, because of the coffee, like no coffee. All right, I'm nervous she's gonna jump up on the thing. This happened the other night, I was doing a live stream and reconfiguring energetic codes, but I was out in my lounge room and like I'm talking away and everybody's laughing on the live stream. I'm like, the cat's like climbing up on the TV. Like, you know how like the TV's like thin. She's like walking along the TV and then she's, oh my God, it was so distracting. So I'm like, maybe I should have actually shut the doors, but I think she's going to be okay. I just get on edge because like there's lights and computers and all sorts of cords that they can like run and like knock shit over. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> Yes, no worries, Christina. So, yes, anyway. All right, let me... I'm nearly there. Okay. All right, done. I'm present now. Good morning from the UK. Hey, Loretta. Hey, beautifuls. Okay, let me bring this up so then I can see the comments properly as well. Awesome. Okay, sweet. Yes, so this uh, energy update, and I guess I just wanted to come on and share like why I've been so quiet. <laughs> because I have been publicly, and I'm just like, I've known them like, go to live stream, go live stream. But I have, it's not like I haven't been live streaming. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff going on in my trust intuition group, in the healers group. Then also, okay, this is a really important point, okay? If you are not in my Reality Awareness support group, okay, send me a message so you can join. That's my private free group on Facebook. And that's really important. There's a live stream in there that I did the other day on joy, okay? And if you've been struggling or you've been releasing generational patterns or you've been working through releasing addictions or anything like that, please, please, please go in there and watch Joy. It's divine step number 11. So there's 12 divine steps to awakening your life purpose and divine step number 11 is Joy. And in there, I shared quite personally about what I've been going through. So if you've already seen that, you kind of got a bit of an update, but um, it's really about like deep sacral chakra. You know, it's kind of like we've been like bogged down in the, you know, like heavy stuff, the hard stuff. And for me personally, I feel like I've been, you know, like, I don't know, a cave or a cocoon since like May, like May, June. And I know it's been winter here, but it's like, it's like middle of summer now. Well, almost middle of summer. It's well into December already. And I just like, I'm like, where have I been? Like, you know, and I just feel like enough is enough. <laughs> like, 
And I know personally, I've been going through so much change. Like, you know, you guys would have seen, like, you know, I, in February, I changed to a company. So I took Reality Awareness from Soul Trader to a company, took myself off government benefits. And that in itself was a really big energetical structure, is energetical a word? Ener energetical structure change without even realizing it, right? And it was really big in my leap, in my business, in my entrepreneurial journey, like in a really big way, because as always, I don't really think about what I'm doing. I just get the intuition and I do it and I trust it, right? And sometimes it's like, whoop, like, whoa. And of course we always doubt ourselves. This is what I teach. The first module in trust intuition I teach. When we make a decision, doubt always comes up. It's just a matter of like moving straight through that doubt. Yeah, it's so important. But I feel like I've been through so much change in the past, um, like since May, June, right? And it's taken me a little bit to come back out. I feel like, you know, September, I was like really questioning what I was doing. Um, you know, like I was, I don't know if you guys, I don't know, like I was like, do I even supposed to do this anymore? Like, do you know what I mean? I'm like, this is my heart on my soul. I'm like, of course I'm meant to do it. But it was so interesting what came up. So again, if you haven't watched Divine Set number 11 in the Reality Winner Support Group, please make time to go and do that. It is really like deep in, you know, like how these energetic things can influence in our environment, especially relationships and the subconscious, you know, like energetics that go on in our relationships even when we're still not in, like we're not in physical relationship with them anymore. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I wonder, and I guess I'm sharing this because I'm curious, like I feel like this has been more of a collective thing where a lot of us have been hiding and it's not out of like, oh, hiding. Like it's just like, we've just gone into this kind of cocoon. And remember like November, December, January, so December, January last year, it was really in, hey Karen, it was really deep in the Atlantis energy, yeah? Like Atlantis rising and like, you know, what, what did that even mean, right? And for me, I feel like, you know, it was so dark at that time. Like this time last year, I feel like it was a lot darker last year than it is now. However, some people might you know, disagree with me there. So I'm really curious if you guys feel like it was, it's darker and heavier now or whether it's darker and heavier like this time last year. Like, just let me know. I'm curious about that. Even if you're watching the replay, yeah? Because, you know, with this whole Atlantis rising and we felt that, you know, like I always say, you know, there's six to nine months like are like birthing, like it's a gestational birthing period. Like it's a real thing, yeah? And so like when we look at that Atlantis rising from like December, January last year, just the start of this year, and like this, you know, like that six to nine months, so like August, September, it was just like, woof, you know, and the, the Amazon burned and, you know, all this stuff went on, right? Um, darker now, okay, yep, was dark and heavy for me this time last year, yep, dark and heavy this time last year for sure, yeah, so interesting, right? So, and I know there's people on different waves of this wake up, yeah, like I feel like as we move into 2020 and beyond, it's going to, you know, like you can see like the world's waking up, you know, like how many times did I say it, you know, like 10, 15 years ago, there was not a juice bar in the middle of the shopping center, it was unheard of, it was weird, and now they're freaking everywhere on every corner store, let alone vegan cafes, you know what I mean? Like healers and everything moving into, you know, like mainstream places is going to be so normal in the next five to 10 years. Like, do you know what I mean? It's really shifting and lots of people are waking up. Counseling doesn't work. This doesn't work. Da, da, da. I'm like, I know, right? Because this is the time for this coming back. Now, when we look at Atlantis rising, it's the consciousness and all the magical gifts and, you know, like our intuition that is rising. That's what's waking up, right? That's what Atlantis rising means. It's not like, the, you know, it's going to come back out of the ocean. I mean, like maybe who really knows, right? But on a collective level, it's the same as when they say, you know, like um, the Christ consciousness, you know, like when Jesus is reborn or whatever, it's not him as a person. It's the consciousness. It's the heart centered collective consciousness that's reawakening, that's, that's waking back up, right? Like, so don't wait around for some physical person. It's your consciousness. It's the heart centered beingness of the Christ consciousness that is waking up. Yeah. So, this whole like, um, so interesting. Yeah. Like last year it felt so dark and now like, and it's interesting. So Rita says it's heavier now for you. Yeah. 
super, super hearing that. Um, and, and you as well, Tabitha. And Janaea says, yeah, I've decided um, to go into a semi-silent personal retreat until solstice. Feels good. Yeah, awesome. So, darker last year. Yes, it's interesting, right? Some of you are like, this year, last year. Yeah, I was curious about that. Um, what else do I want to say? So, the other message that I kept getting... So you know how I, and I'm curious if you guys have been tired. Like I know I slept for 15 hours the other day and I was just like, you know, I fell asleep at 3.30 in the afternoon. I was so tired. I'm like, I just got to lay down and I, I didn't have to do anything. I always have things to do, right? But I didn't have to do a scheduled live stream or anything. And I'm like, I just got to lay down and rest for a minute. I ended up sleeping from 3.30 to 6.30 and I woke up because it was getting dark and the dogs were barking to come inside and I was like, I'm having a shower and I went back to bed and I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was just like, I needed that. And I feel really good now about it. I know it's because I wouldn't have coffee that day. It's kind of interesting, you know, being on this coffee journey. So, um, again, if you haven't watched Divine Step number 11 in the Reality Awareness Support Group, please, please, please go and watch that. Um, it is like really defining, understanding, dropping into the depth of energetics around, you know, like the things that affect our reality on a subconscious level and we don't even realize. Yeah, it's so, so important. Uh, so Marina says, definitely feels it's lighter right now for me. I've moved so much out this year. Yes, yes, both, but moving on now. Yes, okay. Darker last year, yet it might be because I'm freer from things. Yes, right? And this is what happens when it's dark. And I, I think I shared this post the other day. I think so. It's only dark because we're not listening to our intuition, right? The more we listen to our intuition, Jazz agrees, the more we listen to our intuition, it's like it's dangerous in there when you're not listening to intuition. Um, the more, see, the more we don't listen to our intuition, the darker and harder it gets, you know? And we'll be like, yeah, but we'll go down this thing we know we're not supposed to. And that's when it ends up being so dark. And I know for me last year, it was that, like big time, right? Um, okay, so what was I saying about that? So this whole like enough is enough. And I've seen this in so many clients. I've been working with so many of you on WhatsApp through the quick shift and um, the goal reacher as well. Oh my God, my inner circle clients and I love you all. So I've been busy in there and on the live streams and the reconfiguring energetic codes and everything. So, but I've made a commitment to come out publicly because there's so much I want to say. And I've been like saying things over and over and over to clients. I'm like, I have to talk about this on live stream, right? So, because this is a collective energy thing. So, this past few months, I know for me, and before I talk about this 90 degree turn coming up, this cocoon thing, it's been like, I didn't even realize I was in it. Like, you know, and again, divine set number 11, joy, going to the depths of what that's been about. And in that space, you know, like just having that in our energetic field, like I just, I lost myself, but I didn't even know, right? But it was this thing where even like going to the gym or doing those things that are good for me, I just wasn't doing them. Like, and it was just, it's crazy, right? And I was like, oh, it's this and it's this and it's this. And it's actually like, Hannah, like you just need to go and exercise. Like, you know, like what do I always say all the time? And I was like, I can't believe I even was in that space. And I feel like the past three or four weeks that I've noticed it with several clients as well, they're just having realization after realization after realization after shift after shift. And they're just like, oh my God. And I just feel like enough is enough. And it's like, we've come out of this Scorpio dark portal, you know, like that October, November was just like, Whoo, and it's like enough is enough. And I just feel like so many people have reached that point where like, uh, not tolerating that, tolerating that anymore. That's enough of that. Yeah, put up with that. But now I'm actually going to voice something and that's not okay. And I feel like this past three to four weeks has been that for a lot of people. For myself, like, and I, you know, the exercising, it wasn't that I wasn't exercising at all. Like the past, like it was winter, so it was more like crazy stuff. <laughs> but um, I started gently going for a walk. And this is, I feel like this is a really important point to share because it's so, um, important when we're coming out of a dark spell, when we're coming out of a really hard part of our life to really understand this, right? So for example, and I'll use the exercise example, but you could apply this to anything, that when we're coming out of a really hard portal and we're like, oh yeah, I know I've got to exercise, I should exercise, you know, like, and, and sometimes the block about even starting to exercise again, right? And this is what happened to me, is because in, my, in our mind, or we just think we have to do it every day and like run a marathon every day, even though we never did that, but it's kind of like 
this is what we think we have to do, like without even being conscious of it, right? And so in this space, it's like, um, you know, like I, I realized that and I was like, okay, just start small. Like, you know, and it's, again, this is what I shared. It's like, just start small. So I started walking, like instead of going to the gym every day, because I love the gym and yoga and all of that, it was just like, just start going for a walk, just take the damn dogs for a walk, right? And so I would start taking the dogs for a walk and it wasn't like every day. It was just like when there was a gap, I'd take the dogs for a walk. I'd take, you know, so maybe once a week or something, right? And and this is really important because even though it wasn't like, you know, lots of exercise that would have made me feel 50 million times better or whatever, it was a start. And the more I started doing, say, once a week, taking the dogs for a walk, it actually made me want to do more and more and more. And then all of a sudden, you know, like several weeks later, I'm back at the gym and I had all this, like, it was just like this natural flow and I wanted to be at the gym every second day. And so I made a commitment to do that, to do that, right? Now, in that space, you know, all this stuff started coming up for me and I've had all these big purgings and like huge clearings. And again, I share it in the, um, I share it in the, the reality rent support group joy yeah and joy is a really big one and i'm going on about this so much because i actually did the joy live stream right like i said 12 divine steps to awakening your life purpose divine step number 11 we've only got one more to go this week coming up um joy it's the sacral chakra it's joy it's contentment it's when we're following our soul's calling there's that peace there's that serenity there's that underlying contentment and peace that we just know we're on the right path like you can feel it it's that buddha belly life contentment feeling right the soul fulfillment yeah and i did the live stream and i like you know finished the live stream and all of a sudden joy wasn't there like the live stream just disappeared like i think you guys would have seen i posted about it and i'm like what the hell like what what the hell is going on here? Like, where has my joy gone? Like, and that was a big wake up call and I made all these changes and all this stuff started shifting for me. And again, started going back to the gym every second day and all these like big purging came out, like huge, like just, blah, like just big purging stuff, right? And in so many levels, so many ways, shapes or forms, like, you know, so I've been a bit quiet, but I've been doing my thing behind the scenes and processing this huge thing in that. So I'm like, cool, I've done, I shifted through something huge just now. Now I'm back, right? So, and the point of me sharing that again is that, you know, like when you start moving your body after not, like, after a big chunk of time of not moving your body, stuff comes up. Why? Because we store it all in our body. What is fat? Fat is, fat is this, um, fat's where all, there's a protection mechanism. Yeah. Fat is a protection mechanism to our current reality, to what's in our reality. Yeah. So in that current reality, it's kind of like, what are you protecting yourself from? Right. And this has been a huge thing for me. And so in my, you know, like moving forward and going to the gym, I'm exercising, especially when I was doing the upper body and the heart stuff is coming out and I'm like, yep. Okay. You know, and it was just like, then the, like got, I literally got home from the gym and I had to go down the beach and have this big purge. It was intense, like this big heart, heart stuff. Right. Um, okay. So it's been positive to our growth. Of course, everything always is. Yes. Um, so Tabitha says with this upgrade, is anyone noticing their food changing? What's changing for you? Haven't eaten meat in months. Sarah says all the inflammatory foods that I slowly allowed back in. Yeah. Joy. That's been my thing. Trying to do things that bring me joy. Yeah. So, and it's interesting when you start talking about food because that's so related to joy and the sustainable joy or the, or the not stable joy. There's like the up and down sugar spike joy, like, you know, or that deep contentment, that soul fulfillment joy. Yeah. It's a deep connected joy. Whereas that sugar up and down all the food, blah, 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 blah like, do you know what I mean? It's just like, ah, here we go. Drama cycle. Do, 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 do. Like one of why I was so fucked emotional all the time. Whereas that deep seated joy is that deep space of contentment. Yeah. That deep sense of contentment. Right. So again, please watch that live stream. There's so much in that. 
Um, so leading up to now, right? And remember I said several, several weeks ago, I said the first two weeks of December, it's going to be like this big woof of energy. And I kept getting the message like there's this, um, you know, it's like an influx of light, you know, like, and I feel like this big, like upgrades of light and all this stuff that's going on that is like wiping some, some of us and, you know, all this, all this stuff like being upgraded. Now I kept hearing and I keep hearing and again before this live stream it was like the 14th of December or the 14th of December and I'm like what about the 14th of December and it's like 90 degree turn you know like and I was like well, what what the hell is that and I saw and they're like showing me this you know like our universe or whatever traveling through but it's like you know we're wherever we're traveling has <laughs> a solar system and then all of a sudden it's just turning like we're going we're like going in this direction and then all of a sudden it's turning and I'm like well what's that what does that mean <laughs> so I feel like and I don't know if you guys have been noticing it or hearing it like I've been so conscious like it's like I can hear like you know how they say when we have the we have solar flares and there's the like in the solar flares are the electromagnetic waves that come off the sun, right? And and even the wind has been like sounded different to me. Like, you know, this past week, like I think it was a couple of days ago, it was really windy. And well, last, I don't know, recently it was really windy. And I was like, it sounds different. And it was just like a howling wind. But it sounded like what a howling wind would be in outer space, even though I don't know what that sounds like. Do you know what I mean? You know how you can hear the vibrational hum of like sacred geometrics around your body sometimes when you're doing activations or anything and then you can, you know, if you're really sensitive in tune or your clear audience is really, really switched on, you can hear that vibrational hum. And I feel like, yep, buzzing sounds and ears, right? The downloads are really strong at the moment. And this whole sense of like, um, so much connection for me to the wind and sun this last week. Yeah, I've really been noticing it. And it's like, it's like a solar wind, like, like a space wind. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's what it feels like to me. And I just feel like, like, like we're moving into another dimension. I guess that's what we, that is what is happening in a way. Right. But I just was like, so curious if anyone else could like feel that recently. Cause it's really, really strong. Yeah. Really strong. So this whole 14th of December and this whole like, ah, this turn, you know, like, like we're turning like a 90 degree turn. I feel like it'll be a quite a definitive shift in energy. I don't know in what way, shape or form, but I can feel that it's really like life changing <laughs> in a way. Right. Um, yeah, it's totally feeling it. Yeah, it's been so strong, like just the connection. Oh, you're in reconfiguring energetic codes too, so we're <laughs> we're fully like next level moving through that reconfiguring like that sound. Like I can still hear it now as I'm talking, right? Oh, so amazing. So amazing. All right, is there anything else that I needed to share on this live stream? Magic is in the air. Yeah, I fully feel that. I fully feel the magic in the air. And, you know, and as we're leading into 2020, you know, it is like coming into a whole different vibrational energy that we're moving into. Um, you know, you know, that as I said, like, and so the eclipse season is starting soon, that between December, like this, between Christmas and the 12th of January, there's all these like portals opening up and all these galactic alignments. Well, not galactic, but astrological lineups, really important dates. So, um, Janae says, yeah, really getting the wind thing and wanting to stand in. It feels very clearing and freeing. Yes. I've walked outside so many times just to be in it. Right. It's, it's interesting. Can fully feel it. But like upgrading, like, I don't know, it's an energetic wind. It's kind of so different. Feeling it, yeah, especially the enough is enough. Yes, it's kind of like enough hiding, enough tolerating that, enough that bullshit in the relationship, enough of that stuff, enough, 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 like just enough. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just all these, like, so many of my clients are like, you know what? I'm not doing that anymore, and I'm writing this setup, and this is enough, and I'm putting this boundary in place, and that is that, and it's just like, whoop, whoop, next level. Yeah, that's what happens. We get to this point where we, you know, we're tolerating it, we don't even realize that we're tolerating it. And then all of a sudden we just shift and, you know, and this, this happens, it's like this internal shift. And what is that? That's our self-worth increasing. That's our values increasing. That's us, you know, honoring ourselves and moving into the next level of what we've been working towards in the first place, right? Butterflies everywhere. Lots of transformation. Tabitha says, yes, I'm feeling it. Um... Yes, I'm seeing ghosts and all for the first time, like even seeing what they're wearing. Yes, kind beings, awesome. 
It's strangely windy for sure, so much of it. Yeah, it's a very different feeling, isn't it? Very different feeling. All right, let me pull a card for this collective live stream. Oh, look at this. <laughs> uh, I think it's backwards. It's simplify your life. It's the white daisy. I think that has significance for you, actually, Sarah, from something that we worked on together from memory. <laughs> um, daisy chamomile. Simplify your life. Enough is enough. Time to do that. And by the way, guys, as we move into 2020, it is so important that you do this and solely focus on your purpose. There will be the theme for next year apparently is a really strong part of it is that there will be a lot of distractions pulling us off path, pulling us off purpose. If we don't have those strong boundaries and say, no, nah, enough is enough and really hold our ground with that, we are going to get distracted. We're going to get pulled off path and we're going to end up this time next year and go, oh my goodness, how did that happen? Right? So increasing those self like the boundaries, the self-worth, your values, what's important to you, only spending time on those things and being able to focus. And I feel like, you know, as we you know lead up to the end of 2020, of course, it's um, the end of 2019. It's the end of an era. It's cleaning out. It's really like letting go of not only the past decade, but it feels like an eternity. Yeah, it feels like an eternity of stuff that we're clearing out from. So, and look, and this is the bottom card, the magnify your intentions. Uh, it is choose a specific goal to work towards. Your energy is spread out among too many ideas. <laughs> Please bring your focus back to the key intention and lead, let, let your angels help you. Ta-da! Any more confirmation for our live stream? So, I, the intuitive uh, coaching immersion is open as well, guys, and that is my new program. I'm so excited about it. It fully has been sitting there, like just bubbling, ready to birth, and it's finally here. And this is literally six months deep one-on-one with me. So you have unlimited access via WhatsApp. If you've worked with me before, you know what shifts happen in a short period of time. Over six months, we're really getting you clear on all these ideas, all these ideas that are spread out way too far and it's so scattered, you don't know how to ground them or what to even do or pour them into or how to even structure them. Intuitive coaching immersion is how we do that because this is how I've built my business, right? I've not followed, I've never had a business plan. I kind of don't even still, I've got like this intuitive business plan and it is how empaths and entrepreneurs work. Yes, of course we can get business plans. However, if you're like me, you just wanna do it your way and it's bringing all those intuitive ideas and putting them into a system, an intuitive system that works for your unique life purpose. Because if you follow me, if you're here, what you're here to do and bring to the planet on an energetic level and in your business is not birthed on the planet yet. I guarantee it, right? We have to trust ourselves enough to be able to bring that through. Plus, for, you know, like deal with all the stuff that comes up when we do start stepping out and birthing something that is not on the planet yet. So I've walked through that. I've been through that. And now I only realized the other day I've built a multi six figure business from it. And I was like, wow, that's what mentors are for to help me see what I don't see. Right. And so being able to guide you intuitively with your purpose and your path and pulling that into the now and birthing that in the next six months. Yeah, that's what the intuitive coaching immersion is all about. Plus, of course, we amplify your intuition and get you trusting yourself because that's the most important thing. So clearing out the generational stuff, clearing out all the stuff that's blocking you from hearing what it is you're here to birth through. Not just all the scattered ideas, but what that actually births into, into physical reality, yeah? So clearing of past life things too, yeah, there is a lot of that going on, definitely. Um, a lot of my clients, it's what we've definitely been diving into. So I'm going to drop the link for the intuitive coaching immersion in the comments there. You can send me a message if you've got any questions about it. The applications are open now and I'm so excited to be able to guide you. This is a fast track. Uh, rather than fumbling your way through it and making all the mistakes I did, I can like, intuitively guide you so you can birth it fast and start living the life of your dreams because that is what your life purpose is all about. You just have to have the faith, the confidence and the trust and surround yourself with the people who know exactly what those crazy ideas are here to do on the planet and support you in that, yeah? All right, guys, I shall see you soon. I'm going to be on a live stream a lot more than I have been. So I shall see you guys real soon. Lots of love.